Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about TAVR, how we evaluate uh, TAVR in Echo. TAVR stands for the Transcatheter Aortic Valve Replacement, or in Europe literature, they call it TAVI for implantation. Anyway, uh, today uh, there are nowadays more than to 10 to 15 type of the TAVR valve, we have it. Uh, generally based on the, the technique uh, that the valve installed or deployed on the aortic root, we can divide it, the TAVR valves in two groups. One of them are, one group are self-expandable, that top of them is core valves, and another group are sapient valve, that uh, uh, we called it balloon expandable uh, type. These two types are most common used in United States. Uh, the duration of those uh, valve is average eight to 10 years, sometimes less, sometimes more, depending on many factors. I'm not going to talk about that. Just remember uh, those TAVR has, uh, generally speaking, they have two parts, one frame and one valve. On the uh, valve, in the sapient group, they used uh, cow pericardium, and in the core valve, usually they use pig pericardium. This has been almost many years or more than 20 years for the tower, but uh, almost five to 10 years, I forgot the number exactly, they start doing the same technique for mitral valve, they called it TMVR, TAMVR, whatever, but it still is not established and is, it needs more work on it. Okay, what the technique used to install the valve? Usually, all of those uh, valves, they tr do go through the catheter, sending catheter through one of the big vessels. At the beginning, usually it was femoral, but nowadays they use radial, and sometimes subclavian, and sometimes, depending on the case, apical through, apical from the chest wall, they go and install that. Okay, what is the... Uh, echocardiogram feature of the tower, how we can detect the tower. All, almost all tower has these three uh, features. Double echogenicity layer, one layer belong to the, here you can see on the T and on the transthoracic, one layer belong to the uh, aortic wall and another frame of the valve. Here on the T, you can see the same uh, aortic root wall and frame of the valve. The posterior, because of shadowing, all those stuff, maybe you don't see very well, but in this case, you can see two layer echogenicity between them. But keep in your mind, after a while, fibrin calcification, all those stuff process happen, and uh, differentiated between these two layer will be very hard. In those cases, you can see the aortic root is very hyper echo and thick, and this is a character instead of the two layer, very thick hyper echo aortic root. It gives you some hint that this is, uh, there is a valve. And dentation, usually you can see dentation pattern at the short axis here, as you see, dentation, and here, here the same way. On the short axis, if you have good view, maybe double layer of the coaches and hypoecho or anecho between them is will be very obvious. On the long axis, the third feature is a frame or mesh shape of the frame. As you can see, horizontal parallel to each other, many hyperecho line. Especially when you want to see this feature, you have to f uh, sweep f or fan up and down. Uh, when you go a little at the side of the valve, you can see those pattern at the 
valve and it give you hint okay this is a tower okay now let's see how we evaluate <coughs> tower for tower we are evaluating in uh, three in four four window four views first on the plaques then on PZAX, then apical five and apical three Sometimes you have to go extra, subcostal, all those stuff, depending on your uh, primary result and finding. So on the plaques, you have to, when you have the good image on plaques, zoom on the aortic, uh, aortic valve. The region of uh, interest, interest area should be a little bigger than just valve. For example, in this view I put, is it small is big make a little more show more lvot a little of the mitral valve too and ascending aorta so increase a little region of a roi a little bigger second optimize your image as much as possible decrease gain resolution all those stuff filter wall filter scale setup all those stuff if you know don't know later i am going to uh, upload uh, optimizing image on the color 2d everything framework frame rate anyway okay after uh, you optimize it and you had good view put color the best method for uh, evaluation any valve actually any structure uh, I use usually compare uh, method what is compare mode or sometimes they call dual image or clips so use both one side color one side 2d that is the best because it gives you a lot of information beside of the each of them Correl you can correlate the location and what the mechanism of any disorder anyway after that don't satisfy only with one shot as again as a general rule whenever you uh, scan any valve always sweep that area depending on which valve and what which view you are you have to sweep it left and right or up and down depending on this plaque so just fan it to the left and right slowly and watch color and see if there is any abnormal blood flow or not on the when you are done you go later i will talk about how you measure lvot you do the same uh, technique for the PZAX too just on the PZAX remember the valve has a height so you have to do at three level from the top to the bottom top middle and bottom and just with sliding go higher then slide middle a little down and then down to until with the color you see there is not any abnormal blood flow in any of those spots you do repeat it the same technique on the apical 5 and apical 3 sweeping at that area for example sweeping on this apical 5 just you have to find the tip of the probe up and down slowly and check any abnormal flow in apical 3 just you find into the left and right shoulder of left uh, left shoulder of the patient and fanning to the right hip fanning generally fanning and make sure there is not anything okay now let's see how we evaluate <coughs> tower 